you would tune in to Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel as we take you on a ride through the most trending news around the globe. At number 10, Taoma Leah released new single titled Check. Nigerian comedian, content creator, and cinematographer and social media influencer Miriam Okpaokagi, popularly known as Taoma, combines with Nigerian singer Abdul Salam Suliat Mudashola, well known as Leah, on a new single titled Check. The two displays their feminine charm on the Afro pop single that combines catchy melody and sticky lyrics. It was produced by Suplia and released on the 3rd of February 2023. <laughs> At number 9, Reactions as Agbonlao calls for Casemiro's arrest. Former Aston Villa striker turned football pundit Gabriel Agbonlao is being mocked by social media users after he said that Manchester United star Casemiro should be arrested over his violent conduct, which earned him a red card during the match against Crystal Palace on Saturday, 4th of February. Casemiro was shown the red card for choking Crystal Palace midfielder Will Hoggs in a brawl, which occurred during the match, which ended 2 1 in favor of the Red Devils. The contact with Hugg's neck was brief but still enough for a red card. He will now miss United's next three matches as a result of of his actions. Reacting to the incident, Abonao said the police should be brought in and should be arrested for that. The football pundit statement triggered some reactions on social media. And he's not too happy with the, the verbals there. A bit of pushing and shoving and the linesman is involved as well. We might need the VAR's help here, Tony Harrington. There you go. Oh, straight red. At number 8, Yomi Gold's name cleared in paternity scandal. Nollywood actor Yomi Gold's name has been cleared off a paternity fraud scandal involving a Lagos big boy, Mosh, and his wife. It was earlier reported that the actor is the father of Mosh and wife Aduke Doing's child. According to a blog, the couple's marriage had crashed over paternity fraud and several infidelity. Though Yomi Gold had debunked the rumors, many didn't believe him as they dragged him for having an affair with a married woman. In a surprising twist, Mosh took to his Instagram page to retract his statement. He stated that the two kids his wife have are his biological children. Regarding the official statement made by Marsh on his Instagram stories, Yomi Gold wrote and I quote, My heart can finally touch ground. Beware of undesirable elements. At number 7, Hammer denies rape allegations. American actor Armor Douglas Hammer spoke for the first time after rape allegations that he was sexually abused by his youth pastor for nearly a year at age 13, an experience which eventually would lead to his interest in BDSM. Hammer says the alleged rape was actually a scene that he claims they planned out meticulously in advance via conversations over Facebook Messenger. Hammer claims he deleted those messages and his lawyers vigorously tried to compel Facebook's parent company Meta to hand them over to prove his innocence to no avail. He says, and I quote, Every single thing was discussed beforehand. If I still had these messages, I would have been able to put this to bed in 5 seconds. At number 6, Maya Doche sues Sarah Martins. Maya Doche, the first wife of Nollywood actor Yule Doche, takes legal actions against actress Sarah Martins, who edited her husband Yule, second wife Judy Austin, and son into a family picture. Recall Yule Doche was absent in both wives' family picture, and actress identified as Sarah Martins edited the pictures together, including Yule, and captioned it, One Big Family As It Should. Sarah took it a step further by saying that May failed as a wife and that's why Yule took Judy after her in a live session with Daddy Freeze. Above are the two allegations against Sarah and contained in the list of demands are a public apology, full retraction of the statement, and an assurance that such false utterances will not be made in the future. May also further threatened to sue for 500 million naira in damages should Sarah refuse to accede to the stated demands.
At number 5, Game of Thrones stars couple expecting second child. Game of Thrones stars Kit Harrington announced that he and his wife, Rose Leslie, who got married in 2018, are expecting a second child together, which is going to come as quite a surprise for the two-year-old son. Kit said that he and Rose, who played his love character Jon Snow's love interest, you're right, on Game of Thrones, have worked on explaining her pregnancy to the son ahead of becoming a big sibling. But that hasn't proven to be easy. He said, and I quote, he's about to get the shock of his life, which is that he's about to get a brother or sister. I'm not sure he's quite conceptually understood it just yet. We are trying to get him ready for it. We point at Rose's tummy and we say, Mommy's baby. And he points at his tummy and goes, My baby. At number 4, Allison speaks after defeats to Wolves. Liverpool goalkeeper Allison Becker has reacted to the team's 3 0 defeat to the Wolves at the Molyneux Stadium on Saturday night. Liverpool considered two goals within the first 12 minutes before Ruben Neves added a third in the second half. Reacting to the defeat, which has left them in the 10th position on the Premier League table, Allison said it's difficult to explain why Liverpool is underperforming. At number 3, Mr. Ibu faults wife's allegation. Nollywood actor John Okafor, probably known as Mr. Ibu, has faulted the claims of his wife Stella Okafor that he is dating Jasmine, his adopted daughter. The actor also debunked the wife's claim of him being domestically violent towards her, stating that there have only been much misunderstanding between them. Recall on Friday, Stella, who is the second wife of the actor, had called him out for abandoning her and his children in penury and hardship. Stella also claimed Mr. Ibu was dating Jasmine, whom he described as his girlfriend. Jasmine is my daughter, not my girlfriend. Mr. Ibu breaks silence over wife's allegation. At number 2, Reactions to Bad Boys 4 Hollywood superstars Will Smith and his partner in crime Martin Lawrence excited film lovers from across the world when they announced Bad Boys 4. The Hollywood heavyweights shared that they've decided to bless the world with another installment of the franchise and fans are here for it. Reacting to the trending clip of the announcement, scores of people said they can't wait to watch the action film with a bit of comedy, announcing that Bad Boys 4 is on the way. They took to their social media accounts to make the announcement and the whole world is here for it. It's about the time. Money Time? It's about that time. It's about that time. It's y'all. official, you, y'all. Y'all know what it is, right? It's official. Let's Bad boys for, for life. life, baby. That's for right. For life. Well, we did four. We did. Uh, wait. But it's still Bad Boys it's for Life. For life. But the third one, we oh, well, the third well, one was, mate, was it, it was called Bad Boys for we should for life. Called, what we was shouldn't life. we shouldn't have called it that hey, though. It's life. It's like the three was the three was the E. The, e three was was the, the, e. the three was the three was but this is bad boys four. It's official. That's right, y'all. <laughs> At number one, Oni of Ife debuts actor career. Oni of Ife King Adeyo Gunusi debuts actor career in historic movie, playing a unique role that befits his throne as a custodian of the Yoruba culture and brings royalty, honor, and authority into the make believe industry. The movie is about the quest for one's origin and root that led to the characters to question the status quo and take action in the discovery of destiny. The Oni of Ife epitomizes the source of the Yoruba people. Which which historically is Ileife, and this plays out in the movie Take Me Home in a thought-provoking manner. King Ogunusi, who is a spiritual and traditional leader of the Yoruba race, is saddled with the responsibility of making supplications to God and your riches on behalf of the people. Actors in the movie include Latifa Dedimeji and Bayo Bankole, as well as Hollywood actors such as Dave Sheridan, Amber Rivet, and Felisa Rose. And with that, it's a wrap on today's edition of Daily Top 10. For more updates and breaking news, kindly follow us on all our social media handles. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.